Hi, seventh grade. I want to do a little learning support for you around your lettering. I set up a baseline and a top line for myself in pencil to get myself started. Now, I've also made my basic shapes rectangles. So for my letters here, I'm going to base every single one of them on a rectangular shape. The space that I have here, and I can go ahead and just show that with a little mark, is the kerning. The kerning is the space in between the letters. So I've already spaced out my letters in an equal amount, so I kind of have a sense about how far apart they're going to go. And this is super important because you don't want your letters to get smushed together. You don't want them to be spaced out too far. Now, the next thing that I did, because we want our letters, I'm going to do uh, some sans serif letters to be equally spaced. You'll notice that I've kind of shown the width here. So I'm going to make the letter H to start, and I'm going to run it all the way to the top, down to the bottom, and this one I'm going to bring it up on the edge here. I'm going to kick it out, but for the H in the middle, I'm going to need that arc, and whatever my arc is, I'm going to keep it consistent. So look, at, I'm going to bring this arc all the way to the midline. So I drew a midline in, and I'm going to bring my H arc into the midline. This is going to be really important for me later on because I'm going to write the word hey. And when I write the word hey, I'm going to want to make sure that parts of my E show the same width and the same arc. So I already know that my letter is going to be about this far apart. So up here, I'm going to also make it about the same width. And I'm going to kick it all the way over. So now I've got a parallel partner again. And I'm going to bring it back over here to another parallel partner. So now I've got this H, and this part, the center, the part that's going up, is not super tall, um, but I'm okay with that. That's going to be the style of my letter. So now, though, when I go to make my E, I'm going to want to carry over from this top line of the H and make sure that the outside kind of follows that same curve shape, and that'll help keep it a little bit similar. And that's also going to mean that the inside of my E is going to have a similar curve, just like the inside of the H. So there's certain ways that we're going to mix it up when we make letters. But for now, this is really a helpful step because we want to try to build our own personal consistency. So I've got this outside curve here. I can put that same outside curve on the side of my E. So I can kind of stretch that out a bit. And then I'm going to bring the E back over here and I'll have that same width kind of hit at the bottom. Now, this is going to be a little bit too long for me. So I'm going to maybe shorten this, bring it in a little bit, curve this back down. Hmm. How can I improve this? Well, I'm going to elevate this part of my E here, and I'm going to make this part a little bit smaller, and then this part's going to have to go a little bit wider. So when I grab my eraser now, and I start to clean up the inside and the outside, I'm going to extend this around. And what I'm going to end up with is an E that's going to be a little bit closer in resembling the H that I made before. And I'm going to make this part straight across, like that, and this part straight across, and then like that. So each of my letters should have some similarities, both in the arcs and in the shapes and the width as well. So if I go to do my Y now, I could decide that my Y is going to have the same curve at the bottom, which is completely reasonable. Um, so if I wanted to do that, I would just make my Y a little bit, almost like an upside down U to start. And then I want to make sure that the width is consistent. And then I can bring this down and I can make this similar to like this part of the curve. If I want to 
extend it. I can extend it a little bit. I can make it a little smaller. And all of this is going to help me kind of finalize that letter Y. So hopefully this helps you and really reinforces the idea that whatever your arc is, you want to keep that the same. And whatever your width is, you want to keep that the same, especially with a sans serif font. Now, serif font might be very different. You will have to have your tails on it, and you might have different widths. But for the sans serif font, consistency is going to be key. And the more consistent you are, the more you kind of map out the family resemblance, the more success you're going to have.